Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to cover all the details you need to know about shiny hunting in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So by now, hopefully all of you have your own copies of Legends Arceus and you've started your playthroughs and if you have, I hope you're enjoying them. For those of you who are still waiting on your pre-orders arriving, I pray that they arrive soon. Getting into today's video, we're going to cover all the details you need to know about shiny hunting and some methods to do this and easily get shinies in this new Pokemon game. So to start us off, we're going to hop over to Twitter because Anubis, who is what a very famous data miner uh, of the games, put out a tweet yesterday in regards to the shiny rates in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So big shout out to them. Their handle is linked below. I'd definitely give them a follow if you're interested in this sort of thing because they're always putting out very good, reliable information. Now, you can see the full shiny odds for catching a shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus is one in 4,096. That's kind of the standard full shiny odds that we've got and had in other kind of generations of the Pokemon games. But the interesting things are the new facilities that we've got in Legends Arceus and how they tie into increasing those shiny odds as we go through. So the first thing that we can see here in this table below is that the Pokedex Research Level 10 increases your shiny chances. Uh, it gives you an extra roll. So the full odds, you get one roll with a Pokemon that has that complete 10 research level uh, in your Pokedex, you'll get two rolls. So technically the, the chances of catching that specific shiny or that specific shiny spawning in the wild is one in 2048 which is pretty good so what do we mean by research tabs i'm sure you're all aware of it but if we hop into game here we're going to have a look at our pokedex and you can kind of see each pokemon has a, a research level now i have finished the pokedex completely so all the pokemon that i have have that complete level 10. Uh, this means that i have for every single pokemon that is available to catch in the wild i will have that increased shiny chance so that's all that is referring to. Then if we look at the next kind of increased chance, you're gonna have the Pokedex research is perfect. So if that level is perfect, so the next stage after 10 is perfect. That means everything that a Pokemon has um, its criteria, uh, all of those, everything in this box is ticked. Now, I unfortunately don't have anything that is complete. I've got some things that are very close to being complete. Shinx there, Luxio is very close, but nothing is complete. Now, when a Pokemon is complete, you will actually get a star next to the Pokeball. Arceus is the only thing that I have reference to that is complete. It's only got one task, uh, but you need to complete all the tasks to get that, that perfect research level. And you see it does say perfect on there. And then that is what the this kind of next level is referring to. So if you've got a perfect uh, research level, you're gonna get four rolls on a shiny um, spawning. Um, and that will give you a one in 1024 chance of a shiny spawning. Uh, if you've got the, the, the Pokedex research level at 10 and you've got the shiny charm, you get five rerolls. So that's even better than a perfect registration. And that is one in 819 so that's really good um, and that's what I would be running off in game at the minute because I've got the shiny charm I've got everything on perfect uh, well on level 10 and um, so that would be my odds of a shiny popping up in the wild now if you combine those with a perfect kind of registration on the the pokedex you're going to have one in 500 and 85 which is pretty good and then we get down to the juice of it this is where things get very interesting you're gonna get mass outbreaks which is a new facility in pokemon legends rcs which are very much similar to swarms in brilliant diamond Shining pearl if you're aware of those if not then it's just a a selection of Pokemon, a specific Pokemon appearing in one specific area in the Hisui region. You're gonna be able to kind of go there and it will just be those Pokemon that will be there for a mass outbreak for a limited amount of time. We'll get into the details of that later on in this guide, but for mass outbreak Pokemon, their shiny odds, you're gonna get 26 rerolls on the, um, the shiny kind of chances. So you're gonna have a one in 158 chance of a shiny appearing. And this is a facility that is accessible like an hour, an hour and a half into the game. So very early on into your playthrough, you're going to have access to this 
uh, this method of shiny hunting then these increase obviously if you've got the pokedex entry at level 10 with the mass outbreak you're going to get an extra reroll. that's one in 152 chance and then with the perfect uh, pokedex entry with the mass outbreak you're going to get uh, 29 rerolls, so one in 141 if you've got the shiny charm and the the the, the 10 perfect the t level 10 dex entry with the mass outbreak you're going to have a one in 137 chance and then the best overall shiny odds that you're going to get in a mass outbreak is going to be with the perfect pokedex uh, entry the shiny charm and the mass outbreak it's going to give you a one in 128 chance of catching a pokemon so that's all in all the shiny chances there's not much in it between just doing a mass outbreak if you're starting your game and then having the increase of a perfect dex entry and the, the shiny charm to kind of like stack on top of that so there isn't too much difference there although they do make the odds a little bit different i guess so getting into game we've went through everything that we kind of need to know about the shiny odds and how to understand those in the game. What we need to now know is mass outbreaks in the game and how to access them. So there's a few prerequisites we need to do before we go into the shiny hunting method. Uh, one of the things I would advise all of you to do is come to your settings. Make sure that you have your auto saves disabled don't have your auto saves on this can mess the whole thing up so first things first next thing is an optional thing so having the background music off obviously it is an option so they're the two things in the settings that you need to have the other things that you're going to want to have before you go out set out are going to be pokeballs definitely have a bunch of those have things that you can feed pokemon with berries cakes other things like that um, and you can also grab yourself some like stealth spray as well um at one of the vendors or the shop in jubilee village and that will help especially if you're coming up against like baby pokemon or pokemon that gets spooked pretty easily and then can run away and you can lose the shiny you don't want that to happen so the things you want to do to shiny hunt mass outbreak pokemon are heading to jubilife village speaking to the npc character at the main entrance and he'll give you one of two responses either asking you which location you'd like to visit or that he spotted mass outbreaks around the region now you'll enter the map and if the mass outbreaks are active you'll see little icon pokemon of a certain areas within the map and also if you do engage with this npc character and he doesn't have the mass outbreak message or if there are pokemon that are mass outbreak that you don't want to hunt and you want to change those up what you can do is visit any location on the map just talk to the professor as soon as you get there in the campsite and head back to jubilife village doing this will reset most of the the outbreaks on the map and generate new ones if you didn't have them there before at this stage you want to just pick whichever pokemon you want to shiny hunt and head to that location once here you want to open up your map before you do anything else and then put a pin in the location of where the mass outbreak is on the map and then proceed to save your game do not leave the campsite at this stage just save your game as soon as you've saved your game you're free to leave and head over to where the mass outbreak is located and once you've located the mass outbreak when you approach the the mass outbreak it will consist of four pokemon of the species that you'll be hunting you'll get a little sign that will pop up over the screen to tell you as soon as you get close enough to the mass outbreak you've discovered the mass outbreak that has been spotted and then proceed to either catch the pokemon in the mass outbreak or engage in battle and defeat them every time you catch or defeat a pokemon in the mass outbreak a new one will spawn to take its place as long as the mass outbreak is continuing and if you continue to repeat this process of catching or defeating these pokemon and continuing the respawns at some point you'll hopefully get lucky and eventually get a shiny pokemon respawning in one of these defeated or caught slots now as soon as the pokemon stop respawning that is when you know that the mass outbreak has finished at this stage you can do one of two things you can clear out the the rest of the mass outbreak pokemon catch them all and you'll get a message on the screen saying that the mass outbreak has finished or you can just quit at this point and reset your game once you've reset your game and you're at the campsite area what you want to do is head directly back to juba life village speak to the professor and he'll take you back now once at this location this is where you want to go back into the npc character and check the map for mass outbreaks again hopefully at this point if your chain is continuing 
then you'll have another respawn of the Pokemon that you were just hunting in the same area. If this is the case, you want to go back into this location and then repeat the process that we did in that first step, open the map, check where the outbreak is, and then come and save your game. After this, proceed to head to where the outbreak is and rinse and repeat the process, catch the Pokemon until the mass outbreak finishes. Hopefully in that time, you're gonna get something that spawns, which is a shiny. If not, then just repeat the whole process again, come out of your game, come back in, and then head back to Jubilife Village, come back into the map and hope that the chain continues again for this mass outbreak in that location. Now, these are the simple steps to doing this process. Hopefully along the way, you will get a shiny. The odds are pretty good and you should get a shiny at some point. But if you're not fortunate enough to get a shiny through these processes, just keep repeating this. And if at any point you do leave the campsite and then go back into the map and then the spawn location isn't active, you can then reset the game once again and trying to get that same mass outbreak Pokemon active in the location again will be possible. Just keep resetting and trying again. I think what we'll do is we'll go into to a different area we'll get rid of the electabuzz and we'll see if we can get something else into this area we'll come back out the electabuzz is still there then it is a chain continuing if it has changed though uh, we'll try and see what has spawned and give something else a go so there we go oh we got a piplup okay this is beautiful so we got a piplup spawn in the cobalt coastland which is great one of the starter pokemon and definitely something i would love to get a shiny of so as soon as we are here as we've done before what we want to do is identify where the piplup is kind of spawning put a pin down and then we want to just continue to to save the game here because we will try and chain this if we are not lucky enough to get it the first time. And we want to just make our way across to where the spawn location is. So if we kind of creep as close to these piplups as we can, what we want to do is just try and snipe them off with ultra balls. So see if we can catch as many of them as possible. Okay, yeah, that is going to be the end of it. No more spawning. So no shiny Piplup this time. Again, what we'll do is just reset and see if the chain continues for Piplup. So we'll go back into Jubilee Village and we'll check. And the Piplup is still active. So the chain's continuing, which is really good. So we can come back into the Cobalt Coastland. And as soon as we get here, um, we've already got the marker down for where the Piplup is. So we can just um, proceed to save our game and hope this time is the lucky chain. So we'll make our way across to where the mass outbreak is and kind of land and then hopefully not get spotted. And that is ideal. So no shiny appearing to start with. We'll just try and feed them again because that seemed to work really well last time and just attract them over to where we are. Okay, that is the end of the mass outbreak. So what we're gonna do is just reset the game again, come back in and see if this chain continues once again. So back in game, we just wanna exit this area. We have saved here, remember? So this is that, was the second chain. And then we'll be coming in for the third one. So I'll see if we've got third time lucky. Once we get back to Jubilee Village, we wanna just check with the NPC character and hope that the Piplup is still there. It is still there. So we're going for this third chain this time with the Piplup. Hopefully this is the one and we can get this Piplup. We can make our way into the grass and hopefully get ourselves lucky with a shiny Piplup this time around. And they're all pretty close to us now, so we should be able to start just picking these ones off with an Ultra Ball. Here we get the shiny. No shiny just yet. We'll try and pick that one off if we can. And then I'm gonna I guess we're gonna have to lure some in with some of our bean cakes and stuff. I think that's it. I don't think I think there's only three now. I don't think they're spawning in anymore. It's a little bit of a shame. So that means we're gonna have to reset. Yeah, there's only three. No, they're still spawning. No, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's over. No shinies in this one. So again, we'll do the same. We'll just reset and we'll start over again. Okay, so back in game once again. And we are going to be just returning to Jubilee Village as we have done. And then we've got to hope that this chain continues for a fourth time running uh, if it does that would be amazing and our chances of getting a shiny are getting better and better if it does continue 
and it, uh, it doesn't continue there but what we can do is it doesn't continue that doesn't mean it's the end of it this is a good example we just reset the game again and we'll leave that area and then we'll come back into Jubilife uh, Village and see if the chain continues because the, there is a chance sometimes it will not be there sometimes it will be there so you just have to be patient in this process okay so we'll try and once again go back to Jubilife Village and this time what we want to do is try again hopefully it is the Piplup and not the Shellos this time it is the Piplup again so Piplup fourth time running let's go back and hopefully see if we can get this one this is the fourth chain in a row where we'll be trying to get the piplup um so first things first what we want to do is just save our game and then head over as we have done the past few times to where the mass outbreak is okay, so we're back at the outbreak again for the fourth time so as you see it has activated we can kind of creep into the grass and hopefully we're going to be able to snipe this one straight away go and another one does spawn but still no shiny still respawning so that's a good sign Bosh. just keep spawning that's what we want come on get the shiny we need the shiny where is it Yeah, that's it. Okay, for the fourth time, no shiny. So again, do the same process, reset and come back into game and see if this chain will continue once again. Okay, we're gonna go for the fifth time lucky now. Let's see if it does continue. Back in Jubilife, moment of truth. It is continuing, that is great. We've got different mass outbreaks on the map, but the Piplup is still there. So the fifth time we're going for this one. Again, as soon as we get in, know the drill, got to save. First thing we do, and then head straight over to the outbreak. And there we go, you can hear the shiny is there. So we finally got it, we finally got it. The shiny sound has done it. So we need to be very careful about this and make sure that we get this shiny, but we've finally been able to do it. So we need to get it, we don't wanna mess this up. <laughs> in any way shape or form i'm choking <laughs> i can't believe it we don't want to scare this shiny off though so where is the shiny i think it's the furthest one away that's not the shiny there we need to draw it in it's so far away please don't run off please don't run off right let's try and get them all here let's just drop as many cakes as we can so far away it's coming it's on its way there he is there's the shiny that's the one we want oh no i've used the wrong item on it and chased it off oh we hit it why did we do that oh my god i'm doing everything that i can to not get this shiny Don't say the shiny's gone. Okay, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, because we can reset the game. We know the shiny is here, it's spawned in on this. So, we totally messed that up. The shiny ran off, got very excited, but as we saved, we know that the shiny will be there when we go back to it, which is the good thing. Um, we just had a little bit of a panic. I couldn't believe that the shiny spawned in as soon as we got there, so very excited. And what we need to do now is just come back into the game Good job we saved where we did. We don't need to do any more resets or anything. We just need to head straight back to the area again. Okay, so we're making our way around the corner. We should hear the shiny sound as we come around this bend. This is where we heard it before. There we go, we can hear it. We can hear it, we can hear it. And this time, we wanna be a bit more careful to make sure we get the shiny and it doesn't run away but it's all right we've got it saved so no matter what happens we're going to be all right we just need to draw it in 
Come on, let the shiny through. Why is the shiny the farthest thing away? We've got more food. We've got more food. Bean cake. We like bean cakes. All right, let's get our ultra ball at the ready because I feel like it's close enough now where we could potentially throw a ball at it. We just need the other one to get out of the way. There we go. We got, we aimed, we fired. Please catch it, please catch it. Yes, we got it. We got the shiny. Okay, there we go. Right, well, that is a mission complete now. So we don't really mind about the other ones that are there. Head back to the camp and we can take a look at our shiny piplup that we managed to successfully chain. So that is how you chain shinies in this game with the mass outbreak function. We'll just get rid of these for a second and then we will get our shiny little piplup. There we go. So friends, that is how we do it. And then we can just kind of save from this point and then head back to Jubilife you can see that you get the shiny little icon there on the Pokemon and that is a nice way for us to be able to do it. And um, that was five uh, chains in a row that we managed to successfully kind of keep going, which is which is ideal, you know? That's, that's exactly what you want. You're not gonna get that lucky every time, but that's the method to doing it. So hopefully you found it useful, friends, and hopefully you have a lot of success in doing it yourselves. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you've found this guide useful and I hope you have a lot of success doing your shiny hunts. Um, and definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you've got any questions or if you've had any success shiny hunting already in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Obviously you can access this um, very early on in your playthrough so you can start shiny hunting very early on. Obviously you need to get further into your playthrough to access the different areas of the Hisu region but that will not take you long and you'll be able to have access to all these Pokemon in no time. So friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you all for another video on the channel very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.